There is the early possession stat. West United absolutely dominating it. 61% to Sydney SC's 39. Kath, is that a trend that you think uh, we'll see for the rest of the game? I think it will change as the game goes on. You know that West United love to play with the ball. They like to play out from the back. And at the moment now, Sydney FC, once they do receive the ball, especially in those transition periods, they're looking to go forward quickly. Could be something that they've trained this week coming up against Western United. And a nice ball forward from Vine and Abini with the touch. And it's fallen back. There is Abby Lemon to finish it off for Sydney FC. A really nice bit of play from Courtney Vine to start it. And there was Abby Lemon after a disappointing 45 minutes last week. She was able to slot it away this weekend. She was lucky there that Mackenzie Hawksby didn't steal it from her, but she can see that Abby Lemon lines it up and just slots it into that bottom corner. Great finish there, and what a fantastic ball in there from Courtney Vine to Princess Sabini, and then Amy Lemon just there in right place at the right time and just slots it into that bottom corner. Savisky sending it out wide. Now to Hiata. Got Papadopoulos up ahead in support if she'd like to use it. And he ain't done really well to get away from her defender, sending it across the box. Not able to get ahead on it, Western United, but it does fall to the back for Medwin. And it will be a throw in. What a beautiful piece of skill there from Hayada. She's done really, really well. She's absolutely sent Kirsty Fenton's center for, for a six there and does well to get a, a dangerous ball into the box as well. You see Grace Smart trying to be patient. Just immediately under pressure. Vine's done really well to bring the ball under control. Off the post and back into the hands of Hansen. Of Larson and wow. Unbelievable there for Courtney Vine. What a great strike. It was unfortunate for her not to make it into the back of the net. But what a great ball in there from Margot Chaveau. You can see she, as soon as they win the ball, they just look to get in behind and they're looking to, to transition quickly against Western United. My apologies, Taylor Ray in behind there. What a great ball by Taylor Ray. Just this pressure from Sydney FC. That ball did look like it came off the arm of Courtney Vine. Referee disagrees and play continues. Out wide to Abini. Abini cuts inside. Still Abini with that strike and sailing over the crossbar. That's Princess Sabini's bread and butter there. She loves that move. She loves coming on the left-hand side and cutting in on her right foot and looking to curl it at that back post. You know how good she is 1v1, her ability to be able to beat her opponent and get that half a sniff to be able to get a strike off that goal. That's just Princess Sabini's bread and butter there. Now it finds Sabini. Ray. Nice ball in from Taylor Ray and Courtney Vine. Just couldn't control it, but Taylor Ray... That pass, once again, she's been on fire this evening. She sure has, and we know that Taylor Ray has got these qualities. She's a fantastic midfielder. She's got an eye for, for those balls, and it's something that she does very, very well. And it was just unfortunate there. Courtney Vine just doesn't get the right foot onto it. There is Alana Cernt looking for a short option and ends up going long to Papadopoulos. She's immediately under pressure from... Abini and that ball's found its way to Hannah Keane who gets a touch but just wide of goal. In the right position there, just unfortunate that she just can't get her foot around it to be able to guide it into the back of the net. Abini trying to feed through Courtney Vine. He's got space ahead. Still Vine inside now. Vine with the effort. And she doubles the lead for Sydney FC. It was just a matter of time. And Courtney Vine may just have sealed the three points for Sydney FC this evening. What a great finish there by Courtney Vine. You always know when you get that ball in behind and Courtney Vine's going to get on, on the back of it that it's always going to be some sort of ball in the back of the net for her. And she's done really, really well. She takes a touch forward. She cuts back on her left foot and she just slots it away nice and perfectly. Fantastic finish from Vine. Taranto, now Ma, high ball and headed through. And there is Catherine Zimmerman for a go first goal for Western United. And her first goal of the season. And that could prove to be a very important goal for Western United. 
What a great goal there by Catherine Zimmerman. But what a beautiful ball in there from Grace Ma. Pinpoint into the box. And we said that Catherine Zimmerman can add a little bit of that spark to this Western United team. And that's what she's done. Absolutely fantastic goal from Catherine Zimmerman. Keane not able to get the contact she needs. Fenton able to block the path for Western United. Sending it forward for Vine now. Vine once again. Courtney Vine. And that is the sealer. That is what you have Courtney Vine for. To slot the ball into the back of the net. A fantastic finish. And just as Western United are making their way forward, Courtney Vine puts a full stop at the end of the game. She sure does. What a beautiful, beautiful, well-taken goal there by Courtney Vine.